Libra, it's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, should you ever wish to get a session with me, all you need to do is go on to my website, integrativemysticism.com, where you can follow the links down below. Yes, a shaving mishap brought me back to last year's look, which I thought was kind of interesting. And the more I think about it, it's actually quite synchronic because um, I've actually decided to go back to what I was attempting to do earlier this year when it comes to my readings. Those of you who've been watching me for more than a couple of months have, prob have probably recalled me saying on several occasions that it's become a significant strain for me to break my flow, to kind of go up and down and categorize and compartmentalize everything. And so I'm just choosing to honor that, that revelation within myself now and the way I you know, think I should have in the first place and kept going. So this is going to feel and read a little bit more like an incoming wave where the cards are charged, blessed and programmed to show the most predominant energies affecting all areas of your life in some way, shape or form. And then while not breaking my flow, I actually allow myself to just scribe everything that's coming through as I read and present it to you. And so this is what actually presented. So this week's uh, cards, however, uh, were the Knight of Swords upright, the Page of Wands in reverse, the Magician card reversed, and the Two of Swords reversed. And this is what showed up for you. There will be many clear openings to take your leave of both social affiliations and even old decisions you thought would be your burden for many more years. This will come as a relief as many such things may feel or have felt like problems you had to solve and close thoroughly. So there is a chance to start walking away from things that you might not necessarily think uh, you can. You might actually think, no, this is a job I took on. This is an errand that is mine to finish. This is something I must see through, even though it is absolutely a burden and has nothing to do with the highest interest of all concerned and certainly not your highest trajectory. But there is going to be an opportunity this week to actually drop whatever this is by the roadside. And that can be so and you can just be done and move on. It may feel irresponsible to do such a thing, even if what you are leaving behind has already run its course. The faster you accept transition this week, or detransition, if it is a matter of reversal or of refusal of an act or connection, the faster course correction will occur with very little downtime in between one circumstance and the next. This will also come with the assistance of a brilliant helper or two who will be helping to sort the old and leave and left behind business for scrap while you continue to forge forward. So this is also a time where you have to allow things to leave your responsibility and be taken off your hands. And this can, yeah, it can kind of create a bit of a cognitive dissonance a little bit because you might feel like, well, I don't want to take this off my hands because this is for something that I got to do, right? This is, you know, whether it's for honor or family or ego, it's it's something that I got to do. It's, it's, it's my windmill. No, Don Quixote, you don't have to do that anymore. And this is a week where you can find out about a chance to step in or segue into, into something that you didn't think you could even begin until you found a way to wrap up a situation that does not have to be wrapped up by you. It does not even have to be handled by you or cared for by you any longer. And so let the help come. Let the work be taken off your hands and allow yourself to kind of go without having to necessarily capitulate to the pressure to thoroughly close up or wrap up or tie up all loose ends. You don't have to, not this week. So that is what I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mysticism.com.